Stay home, stay safe. The gas tank's been full for weeks because there's nowhere to go. Restaurants are as empty as toilet paper store aisles. Hotel rooms get as much use as the Bibles in their bedside drawers. And the neon city lights that used to beckon lonely men to come inside to forget their pain no longer shine. Stay home, stay safe, they say, or the plague outside will get you. It is the end of the world to many, but I feel fine. For safety to me is the twinkle in my daughter's eyes, her smile as we stumble our way through making pizza together, her laughter while making me look like a fool during games of Uno and Battleship, and every hug she gives me before going to bed. It's my son's unlimited happiness. Every single time he learns how to read a new word, when the rain stops and we can finally take that walk, or at the end of a long day when all he wants to do is watch the cat in the hat and cuddle on the couch with big, goofy me. And at singing Jason Isbell songs together with my wife, talking about those vacations we'll take one day, and sitting on the porch years from now, watching our grandchildren play, and holding hands the same way we did before the virus, the same way we will when it is finally gone. Life isn't always predictable, and it surely isn't always milk and honey, but I am forever grateful for when I am home, with love all around me, I will always be safe.